So as I recall this episode, we're sitting on 3,994 subscribers. But by the time this video comes out and the rate that we're growing at the moment, I think we should have about 4,000 by the time this comes out. So it's time to reveal what was happening at 4,000 subscribers. It's a t-shirt. We're doing a little bit of a t-shirt now. Uh, now we've got 4,000 subscribers. There's nearly 5,000 of you. So we've got 1,000 to go. And we're going to do a special little first 5K limited edition t-shirt we've got going on. So you can see here, we've got a, a little special 5K t-shirt. We've got the new logo, um, which is meant to be like a football logo, like a, like a football team's logo, like a Lincoln City logo, for example, or a Liverpool logo. So it's meant to be on the shirt, like a football logo. And then underneath, you've got the 5K, just to say... You won the 5K. Wear it, wear it like a badge of honour, I suppose. You could do things like that. So it comes in a short sleeve top or a long sleeve top as well with a few different colours like white, black, blue, uh, if it wants to load as well, red, and grey as well. I nearly said navy, but it's grey. So a host of colours there. Um, you can get them from the link in the description or just literally go to teespring.com slash TomFM5K to get these T-shirts down here. Um, this bit's down here. It says available till Monday. Um, don't ignore that, basically. I think it just sort of relaunches itself every couple of days. So I think it basically means it's going to print some t-shirts on Monday, then send them out, and then it'll do like another batch later on. So just ignore that, basically. When it says you can expect your package to arrive, it means if you order it like tonight, for example, it means 7 to 12 days from Monday, for example. I think that's kind of what it means. But don't worry about that. Um, it will be available until we reach 5,000 subscribers, and then we're going to stop production of the shirts, and no one will ever be able to get one of these again. So you've got a limited time to get one. So if you do want one, I'm going to make sure I get... Which one? I don't know if I'm going to get long sleeve or short sleeve. Or maybe I'll just get both. I don't know. But if you want to get one, then hurry and do that. Uh, they're now available for you with a link in the description or, as I said, teespring.com slash TomFM5K. And welcome back to the Lincoln Loco. We have got three games for you today. We've got PSV, Swansea, and then PSV again. Uh, both the PSV games, obviously, in the Europa League second knockout round, and Swansea in the Premier League. We just need to show you some Premier League action as well, I suppose, because we sort of missed it out in the last episode, of course, with the Stabrene game. So, with three games, we've got to get through things pretty quickly, I think. So, quickly, um, in between last episode, we played two games. We had a 2 1 loss to Man City. Um, they were probably the slightly better side, actually. It was a very, very even game, but Man City. Um, just coming out slightly better on top there, scoring 56th and 85th minute. We got one in between, Roberto Patino. I thought we were going to get a draw, but they came back late on. And then we played Sunderland last time out as well, 4-1 win, but we had two goals disallowed, actually, so it could have been 6-1. That was a really fantastic win for us, though. Uh, really, really good boost to us, especially considering that was a you know a loss that we didn't really want. It broke our little run of six games winning and things like that. So it was nice to get back to winning ways against Sunderland. For the table, then, it does leave us in fifth position right now. Still fighting for a chance of Champions League football come the end of the season. We'll level on points with Liverpool, level on goal differences as well. But we scored loads more goals. We're the second highest scoring team in the division. Only Man City have got more goals than us. However, if you look at that defensive record there as well, you can sort of see 14 conceded, 32 conceded, 38 conceded, 24 conceded. Then you get to us, 43 conceded. Bournemouth in 13th have conceded less goals than us. So defence is somewhere we need to sort of improve, I think, definitely. This then is the lineup for this first game against PSV we've got going on here. So Barish Urza starts himself in goal with a back line of Masovic, Patino, Benteke and Ferreira. Jalapeno and Mertens start in that midfield as well with Gomez, Diaz and Despacito uh, in that attack and field trio. Although Gomez needs to become a winger on attack once again, not inside forward. And then Hammer Time leads the line for us today, ever present there basically. Although they didn't play against Swansea. Although he didn't play against Sunderland, Mark Cole played and got himself a brace. Would have had a hat-trick if one goal wasn't disallowed, so... We've got to start thinking, are we going to replace Hammer Time soon? Right, kickoff is upon us here. Lincoln versus PSV, a huge game. Uh, there's a chap who subscribed to me who I've been talking to a bit in Discord. If you're not in the Discord server yet, make sure you go and, and join it to get involved in the conversation. But this chap, he's a, he's a PSV fan. He used to play for PSV, actually, he was telling me. We've got a penalty. How did that even happen? I mean, I was... Okay, a fair play. We'll take it. I don't know how we got a penalty. Not sure what it was for. Hammer time has scored it. 52 seconds into the game. That's all it took. One day against PSV. Before all that happened though, as I was trying to tell you, I've had a bit of a rivalry in my Discord because of course I'm the Lincoln manager. But this is a guy, he's a, he's a PSV fan. Actually used to play for PSV as a youngster um, in the youth team and things like that. And if we didn't have a Discord server, I wouldn't find that kind of thing out about you guys. And then you wouldn't find that thing from me and things like that. So it's great to in the Discord. Make sure you join my Discord to 
you know, talk to me and other people and things like that and find out some pretty cool things from other people. PSV, though, are on the attack now as they put the ball into the middle. And um, I thought it was Patino and goal there, but Malin, he's gone and scored it. It's been an exciting first 10 minutes, to be fair, actually, with these, these opening goals, opening penalty, a goal for them. We've got a chance now to come forward, though. Another attack early on. Gomez coming forward. Hammer time. Plays it into Despacito and Despacito, the goalkeeper, just manages to save it there. Of course, if we score one more goal here, we'll equal the um, the record for Europa League goals scored in a season of 47. Uh, we're on 46 right now as it stands with the one goal we've scored. Tottenham currently hold the actual record. And as I'm recording this, they've just gone 2-1 down to, to Juventus. So uh, if you're a Tottenham fan watching this the day after the Tottenham-Juventus game and you've been knocked out as, okay, PSV have gone scored. I was not expecting that. Perhaps I've underestimated PSV. I did sort of say last episode that, you know, I didn't think they were going to really do much against us. I didn't think they were going to be... I thought they'd be one of the easier teams to come up against. But so far, they're, um, they're beating us. Scoreline and stat-wise, actually. Uh, Possession-wise. Let's ignore that, shall we? Well, we've got a chance now to try and redeem ourselves. Jalapeno on the ball. Plays the ball to Masovic and plays it through to Diaz. Diaz into the middle. Despacito down to hammer time and it's cleared away unfortunately but we've still got possession with a chance to come forward again but Gomez lets the ball slip through and I feel like that probably was going to be the highlight actually I feel like not much is going to come from this now but we've got a chance again Gomez once again with the ball plays it back towards Mertens if you can get a ball out to Masovic who's in a bit of space puts it into Gomez Gomez across but it's headed clear once again we're just not getting into our players in the area this is not what I'm looking for. Ferreira puts it back in, cleared again once again, but Gomez, relentless pressure from us. Are we going to finally get a goal at the end of this? I don't know. If Mertens can get a ball out to either wing, that would be great. It's worked out to Ferreira. Ferreira into middle, hammer time to all. Brilliant. We're coming forward once again now in the closing stages of his first half. Gomez on the ball, puts it back to Despacito, who hits the post. It bounces off the back of the goalkeeper, and he just picks it off the line. Whoa. Final chance of the first half, maybe Mertens puts it in towards the back post, but it's cleared away, but only as far as Masovic now swings across into Hammer Time, who hits the crossbar the third time we've hit the woodwork in the game. The third time. We could have had five goals if we'd just been a bit more lucky. Perhaps five goals would have come our way in this first half. A shot ricochets off for a goal kick, and that's half time. Oh no, it's not quite half time yet. A free kick comes in. Patino, he's there, he's there, just before half-time. Hopefully the second half is calm, because I don't think I'm going to be able to take uh, another 45 minutes of this kind of action. Of course, that third goal actually took us to, to 48 goals in this season's Europa League already. So, we've now got the record for most goals scored in Europa League season, at least from when this save file started. So, congratulations Lincoln, we've done something good here. Free kick now for us early, I say early, midway through the second half, actually 65 minutes now, it's bounced clear, Gomez puts it back in the middle there and Patino makes it 4-2, it's slightly more comfortable now, we're really starting to settle now into this game, hopefully those defensive errors in the first half that led to the two PSV goals, probably even defensive errors, are just poor defending on our part really, hopefully though we've sort of got that out of our system now, we've decided, we've decided to focus a little bit more and now we can sort of just start to <clears throat> start to cruise through the game a little bit. We're going to make a few changes now. Uh, no one in midfield has particularly played too well with a central sort of midfield belt. So we're going to bring Pandolfi on for Mertens. We'll leave Jalapeno on just for now, I think. Uh, we'll leave Patino on. We'll leave Benteke on. Kobashi picked up an injury actually in the last game. So we won't make any defensive changes. I think we bring Le Casic on for Despacito actually. Let's give him a little rest. Gomez has played very well. Despacito's played all right. We'll give him a rest though and Le Casic can come on and sort of show what he can do. He got a few assists in the last game actually. So maybe today he'll be better. There's a bit of a goal line scramble there right at the start of that. And um, Patino's been straight red carded. Apparently hits him on the face. Well done mate. Classic. Okay well Kobashi is going to come on then. Um, he's going to come on for Diaz. Diaz is going to have to make way and Kirby actually going to sit at the back um, we're not going to go attacking we're just going to go standard we're going to go flexible protect what we have Patino is going to be a big loss especially as he's scored two goals today um, and in fact I think before this game he's only scored one goal for Lincoln before so Masovic though with a chance to come forward though with 10 men can we extend our transfer lead why did I say transfer lead I don't know what I was thinking of then transfer lead I don't know what kind of connection that sort of is I meant to say the lead we have and we have extended our lead. It's now 5-2. I think, I like to think at least, the tie is over. I'd hope that PSV won't be able to score three pastas next time to uh, to win on away goals. Like to win 3-0, for example. I'd like to think we score two their place to uh, eradicate the away goal situation. Then it won't be needed. But we've got a chance to even make it even worse for them. Lincoln 6, PSV 2. We are just geniuses at scoring goals in the Europa League. I don't know how we seem to do it. 
Well, full time, Lincoln 6, PSV 2. It was pretty close in that first half. And then we just sort of took it up a gear in the second half and uh, scored a few goals. Hammer time with four, Patino with two. It's been a good day for those two, apart from his red card, of course. That was a bit weird. Patino's red card is an automatic one match ban. If it's straight red, I don't know if it goes to three matches or not. Hopefully it doesn't, because I'd like to use him in the quarterfinals if we get there, of course. We're going to issue um, a fine of one week's wages, actually, because I feel like he punched him in the face. I'm sure that's what it's in the commentary. Um, but he's, he's accepted his fine. That's all right. Uh, and let's go to the Swansea game, then. Well, for the game against Swansea, we've we've nearly changed the entire lineup actually. Barish Oza uh, keeps himself in goal, of course, but this guy, Buchok, comes on the pitch. He's that guy that we bought um, in January, but he came injured um, and he hasn't had a game yet. He's just recovered from his injury actually. He's got he's low on match sharpness and things like that. But we're going to give him a start today. Um, he looks pretty decent. He's the kind of player that we sort of think is going to replace Masovic next season, although his injury has affected his current ability and potential a little bit. So hopefully that won't be too bad in getting back into that sort of form and um, his current ability and potential ability for the next season. But 20 years old Polish guy, six caps to them already, valued at 6 million. We bought him for 3.6. He'd be a decent player, I reckon. Kelbashi comes back into the side. Patino stays where he is because he's suspended for the next game, so he may as well play today. And then Bardi comes in on that right-hand side. Uh, Crazy Eyes and Pandolfi come into the middle. Jimenez and Lukasic replace the two guys on the wings, but Diaz stays exactly where he is because um, Arbelas is still injured and we've got no one else who can sort of play there. And then Mark Hall comes in today to start as a striker. He's played very well when he has played, so let's give him another chance today. Right, in terms of the league then, we can see the table here. We're sitting fifth, two points behind Tottenham in fourth. Now, are Tottenham playing today, actually? Let's look at this updates. No. No one else is playing today. And actually, Tottenham have already played. So a win today puts us into third. I mean fourth. What am I talking about? I mean, of course, that would be absolutely incredible if we get there. We don't really deserve it, I don't think. Um, I think we've just been very, very lucky to be in form this season and things like that. We've played very, very well, which obviously means we do deserve it. But at the same time, we're still Little Lincoln City. And, you know, some of the teams that we're beating at the moment, Liverpool, Everton, Chelsea down in 12th, were a much smaller side than these teams. And... Really, they should probably be up there, but we're there for some reason and we're somehow staying there right now. I thought we'd drop off at some point. I didn't think we'd be challenging uh, this late in the season still for Champions League. I think I thought we would have dropped off, but we haven't yet. We still might drop off, of course, actually. We've still got to play some of these top teams as well. So, you know, we'll probably lose to them and things like that. So we'll have to really battle hard. If we can beat them, then we do deserve to be there. But if we don't, then obviously we don't deserve to be there. But right now, we deserve to be one up as Mark Hall scores another goal, assisted by Lukasic, who's played much better this season, actually, despite having um, competition there. I suppose that's probably helped him on that competition. So he may be in contention next season for starting roles. And I do apologise for snoring in the background. The dog is extremely loud. Oh, absolutely classic stuff. Just before half-time, uh, the guy we've waited three months for, after we've transferred for here from Lech Poznan, has picked up an injury in his first half. Not good. The stats also, not very good. Swansea, massively on top of us. Uh, but luckily, we won the up, so we'll have to try and correct that in the second half. All the hype of saying that we're going to be into fourth as well is, is, is not true. We're not there. We're still behind on goal difference. Crucially, though, a win does put us three points ahead of Liverpool and four points ahead of Southampton. Um, so it does kind of cement us into that Europa League place, at least, which is quite nice. Arsenal ended up winning the Carabao Cup, or the whatever it's called now, League Cup, basically. So they beat uh, Crystal Palace, which is good for us, obviously, because if Arsenal win it and they finish in those uh, Champions League places, it means that whoever comes sixth in the league now will get that uh, Europa League place rather than them. So it does add more Europa League places to the league system like that, so that'd be quite nice. It gives us a bit more leeway to finish in that top seven. Of course, even finishing seventh now, doesn't guarantee as Europa League football, depending on the winner of the FA Cup, of course. But if the winner of the FA Cup, for example, is Man United, we'll ignore that goal. That was a pretty good goal. Defensively for us, not very good at all. But for, for Swansea, I mean, to be fair to them, it was a good goal. They're coming forward again now, Swansea. Um, and luckily, it's been blocked. And now we can try and launch a counter-attack, actually. Jimenez coming forward. There's so many men over on that right-hand side. The ball is found to Diaz. Diaz puts it back to Hall. Hall's header, though, <sighs> straight at the goalkeeper. Like, we're really not playing very well today, are we? We're, I think it's time to bring on some of the big guns, right? Jimenez not played well, so Gomez, get yourself on the pitch. Winger, on attack. Pandolfi's not played well either, so Mertens can come on for him for these last half hour or so. We'll make those two changes now. There's a highlight going on as we talk, actually. Uh, the ball's played towards Bardi, but it's not a good one, actually. But Pandolfi does retain possession. Uh, can he sneak it out to someone? Bardi, down to Lukasic. Lukasic over to Jimenez. Over hit, really, and Jimenez has got all the work to do now. Plays it back to to the new winger that we've got there, left back rather. Le Classic now with the ball, puts it across. Cleared away though, come on boys, we need to try and get something. Swansea though on the counter-attack, if we want Champions League football, we have to win in these types of games. Swansea though, 
<sighs> nearly take the lead themselves. Right, another chance now for us. The changes have been made. Hall holds the possession up and um, I'm, not, I'm going to struggle to say that left back's name. I'm just going to say B for now. Either way, the ball is found through the Hall and Hall, who started the move himself, finishes the move by scoring a goal. Another assist for Diaz, who's been absolutely incredible this season. I keep thinking to myself, I need to sign someone better in that attacking midfield position, but right now, I don't think there is a better attacking midfielder in the Premier League than Diaz. Right, the final substitution we're going to make is take Kobayashi off for Benteke, because we're going to need Kobayashi in the next game, of course. Patino um, is injured, so Benteke is coming on uh, for these final five minutes, just to give Kobayashi a slightly longer rest. It's not going to make too much difference, I don't think. Um, there's a penalty. Kobayashi, if only we made that change 30 seconds earlier. That wouldn't have happened, would it? Would not have happened. Still a chance to come forward though. Hall on the ball has to beat his men. Gets out to Gomez. Gomez across to Mertens. Mertens hits the crossbar. Oh my gosh. Swansea 2, Lincoln 2. And that has been a long time since we've been... I don't know. My assistant said you've been unlucky. I should have just slated them completely. That was my fault for saying assistant do it. Ah. Benteke. Out for three to four weeks. That could prove to be... Pretty detrimental, actually, in these next couple of games, actually. That's given me a bit of a dilemma of who to start. That's, um... Poor. Okay, then. Oh, no, and there we go. Patino, a further two-match ban for a straight red. <sighs> Even more selection nightmares. Jesus Christ, defenders. Just sort yourselves out. So we switch the team back to basically what it was in that first PSV game. The only change is that Garcia has had to be drafted into the defence. Fortunately, we're 6-2 we're up. So it shouldn't be too detrimental, those changes at the back. Um, hopefully Kobayashi and Garcia put together are good enough. Of course, though, PSV do have two away goals. So they need to score four with no reply and then they're through. And considering our defence and how shaky it is in various situations, I wouldn't put it past PSV scoring four. Also, if you're interested as well, um, it's not like it's breaking news. This is coming to you on Thursday, or even Friday, actually. Depends when I do the uh, turkey experiment. Actually, I should probably do a turkey experiment episode soon. So, this will probably come on Friday. Hammer Time scored a good goal. Um, I wasn't even looking at the stream, but we scored it, so that's good for us. Tottenham knocked out the Champions League, but Man City are through, despite losing to Barstool. Let me know what you think, down in the comment section, of course. What you think to Man City, Juventus, Liverpool and Real Madrid getting through into the, the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals, I think, isn't it now? Which is pretty decent, to be fair. That is a bad back pass from PSV. And Diaz has made them pay. We've eradicated the away goal situation now. So they have to go and score seven goals now, PSV. Um, so good luck to them. should probably look, actually, and see who's who's winning in, in games overall. We can see in the background there that PSV have just scored a goal. So, all right. I mean, us and Arsenal look pretty comprehensively through. AUK are turning around a 1-0 uh, a deficit from Sporting. Facundo Vieira scoring for them. He's doing actually very well for them. I keep looking at him. He's, he's a very good player at the moment. I kind of regret selling him. However, he's not as good as the three strikers we've got at Lincoln right now. Hammer time then collects the ball sort of in the middle of the pitch. And, and Diaz plays it forward towards Gomez. He just races down to the byline. Puts it into Hammer time. 3-1. We've actually got a chance to launch a counter-attack again now before half-time. Can we get another one? Gomez comes forward. There's so many players in support as well. Puts his cross in. Despacito, 4-1. I am sorry to my PSV friend. I did think today was going to be a lot closer. But um, it's not, is it? It's not. I mean, <laughs> Hammer Time just scored a fourth. Fifth, rather. I mean, it's getting embarrassing now for PSV. I also want to apologise as well, because I feel like I may have said PSG instead of PSV sometimes. Um... I, I'm dead scared that I have said it. If I haven't said it, then I don't need to apologise. But I feel like I probably have said it at some point, said PSG rather than PSV. They scored a goal there, have PSV. Um, but of course, it's just a mere consolation goal. Despacito on the ball. Gets past two men in a row very, very easily. Switches the play across to Gomez. Gomez races in. Crosses block, but goes straight back to him. Gets it through to Mertens. Mertens, have a pop, mate. Have a pop. No, plays to Diaz. Plays it out to Gomez. 6-2. As the clock ticks down, a PSV throw comes in, but uh, obviously nothing's going to come from this now. As the referee blows his whistle, PSV 2, Lincoln 6. It's, it's, it's deja vu. Deja vu, not just from the first game against PSV, but literally from the first knockout round as well, because we thumped Stephen A2. Here we go then. Euro Cup or the Europa League. It's the quarterfinal draw. Let's see who we're going to get. So we've got either AEK, Chelsea, Roma, Arsenal, Lazio, Leon, or West Ham. I want AEK just for Facundo Vieira, really. Um, I'd like to avoid 
Arsenal, West Ham and Chelsea. I'd like to play Roma again. Obviously, we beat them 5-0 earlier on. So I assume Lazio and Leon should be all right as well. If we don't get a Premier League side, that's that's good for me. So AEK, Lazio, Arsenal, West Ham, Chelsea, Lincoln. That is a big game. We're fortunate in terms of Chelsea having a bad season. They're 11th at the moment. So of all the Premier League teams we could have had, to be fair, Chelsea the one I would have picked. That is in a few days' time as well. And the Arsenal game is in the middle. That Arsenal game is going to be huge in the in the context of things. So next episode, we'll do another three-game special. Chelsea, Arsenal, Chelsea. If you've enjoyed today's episode, then make sure you do drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Of course, go and check out the t-shirts in the description. Join the Discord server in the description as well. And I'll see you next time for some more Lincoln. Bye.